Good night. Good night, everybody. Welcome to Real Life Reasoning. I'm your girl, Elegant Chick. And you know how we do it over here already. So please do like, share, comment. Like, share, comment. Share, share, share. Like again. Comment and share. Yeah, you know me like when you share and share and share and share, right? All right. So as you all can see, tonight's topic is parenting skills. Yeah, that's what we're talking about tonight. Parenting skills. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very important to raise these little babies well. So definitely we're going to look at parenting skills and different method of raising children you know their upbringing is so important and and they have to they have to be raised in the right manner so um yes this is a very important topic you know persons have to know when where and how to instill a certain principles in their children and so um, it's vital uh, for us to just talk about it. Yes, share the live. As you jump on, just please share the live. Share it, share it, share it. Share it to a friend. Ask the friend to share it to another friend, right? And, um, you know, as we go along with it, you know, as I said, everybody have their own method of raising children. Now... My method is once the child reach a certain stage, you know, you have to instill a certain principle because remember, children are sponges. They absorb and then they squeeze at a certain time, right? And so you don't want to wait until the child reaches a certain age. Then you start instilling that principle. It may be too late. So once a child reach, for example, you turn on your stove and then your child come in the kitchen say at the age of say 11 months going to 12 months old touch keep touching that stove you have to let the child know listen this is hot don't touch it and if it is that you have to put a little tap on them finger do it make the stove warm not hot but them have to feel the little eat and you say hot baby and if you see that child come back tap them on them finger do not touch it you understand yes so these are the things that many persons wouldn't want to do they tend to you know shun it off and okay i'll wait until the child reach five no they have knowledge of certain things they just don't know how to apply them you know you have intelligent children which they know how to do a certain thing they know when you're calling and they know when you they do something wrong and they know listen mommy or daddy's gonna get at them and so when you say ah, you know make that little sound yeah they move and they have some little cunning ways you see they come around and they try to you know love you up and all of that that's to show you that their sense is working and so you have to start apply your little strategy to let them know listen don't do and what not to do however you have some persons out there um their children they tend to spoil that child spoil the child and say okay i love my child so i spoil my child no and when i say no you realize oh i come with that no with an exclamation sign i'm shouting you no no parent that loves a child spoils a child it's not so when you love your child you let them know wrong from right because you're grooming that child to become a better man or woman into their lifespan so you don't spoil the child you know that listen for example me me show my kids in it yeah i have two kids so, you know, I can remember one time my daughter asked me, Mommy, I want, she wanted ice cream. I said to her, if I get the ice cream right here in this um, store, when you hear the ice cream truck passing by, you're not going to get it from the truck. She said, okay, Mommy. 
I gave it to her. And by the time I gave it to her and the ice cream truck is coming on, then she started to cry. So what I did, I go inside of my purse, I took out my money and I put it inside of, right in front of her, around the table. I said, if you cry around this table, I'm going to have to show you that I'm your mother. I gave you a choice and you made it already. And you're not going to get it. I'm trying to let her know you cannot have your cake and get every slice. You have to know when, where, and how to, you know, principal your children. So, yeah, it's just a little example. Anyway, so tonight, um, show is parenting skills. I have quite a few guests coming over here tonight. And so we have King Malakia in the building. Yes, he's a nice culture reggae artist down there in Jamaica, of course. You know him, I come blaze a little fire over here. And him also will leave a positive word. You know, he's a father and he's going to let you know um, his side of parenting and how him apply his little method as to raising his children. So, you know, we have... Um, Everybody wanting to just apply their own little advice on how they, they, they work their method as to raising children. King Malaki, I see over here, big up yourself. Enough love and respect, Rasta. You know? Yeah, so. You can send me a request for hard. I'll be happy to add you. Let me add you, King Malaki. Please feel free to send a request request i'll be more than happy to have you also type on the wall you know give your comments i'll be more than happy to read what you say give a reply and the list just goes on yes what's your method of raising your child my method is principally in the child you know from a tender stage so that when they reach to a certain stage they are ready have been principled not saying that the child is not going to fall out of place sometimes because yeah they are children but it is our job to just curve them back into the right way you know we have to learn how to curve our children because a lot of people they don't tend to know how to curve kids you know the kids just out of hand and they're just like okay it's not at their fault you know a child do something wrong but like this a child is at school and you know they come under peer pressure so you know you raise a child right and um you know sometimes they succumb to peer pressure and so you know you have to sit them down and say listen this is the way i raised you and i will not accept a certain things from you and you are going to have to curve up yourself and if you know your child like to go to school with a lot of money or candies that take it from them. Just an example. Yes, King Malaki, you big up yourself. Yes, Respect. Yes, sins. Nice to have you over here tonight, Rasta. I know you're passing through I'm here to give a positive message also to let us know, introduce us to your music and let us know where to find you. Yes, it's a blessing to be on your platform. Yes, and you look elegant yeah. as the name transcend elegant chick. Trust me, you're looking yeah. that graceful this evening. So I want to commend you and hope on that. And I love the whole take of your form and everything. And I want to say blessing to each and everyone here this evening to see. As she have said, yes. me, you know, I'm a cultural artist. Only do music with substance and that will uplift my people, which is all of us. And bring life to us as natural. Yes, and trust me, uh, natural. You see, you see, this topic for tonight, I have um, parenting skills, and I want to let you know that yeah, I've heard some of your songs, and they're very good because this these songs that you do is actually suitable for even your own children to listen to, and I respect that. Thank you, thank you. And being a part of parenting to make sure that your children is listening to positive music because music music for me is a big thing. You know, it has so much impact on our children. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, so I respect your, your, your music. But before you introduce your music and so, mm -hmm. I would love for you to just um, give us a positive uh, message, you know, to the mother parents out there, not only mothers, 
sorry um just parents out there and what's your parenting method well definitely the the, the fullness of the, the the measures of a parent you know is to grow up a child in the love of the almighty first and foremost yes, yes mm -hmm. as, you know a home base with a, a home that based a family that prays together stays together yes love your family and you know let your family come to know that first and foremost we need to yeah. command of the banner of the almighty and reverence him because he's our sustainer first of all before he even come down to me you understand yes that is the yes. platform i really try to set first of all in my home because definitely me and my youth them know say trust me there's a greater power different yes. than me and i try to apply it is doing to my life that they can see him through me <laughs> you yes. understand so you don't know yeah. that is the the fullness well you don't know you know principle and manners of your extent yeah respect that's the fun has to be the foundation you see me say yeah yeah man straight up and we don't know everyone is an individual yes so you want your, ch your children and first to know that they, you know you're special in your own way oh yes yes you definitely are choosing to come into this world to bring about something that it's not even of me but it's of you that's even in you that the almighty already already it was individual to bring in this world so first and foremost you have to help them to understand that Burn that which is hidden in you. Bring it to life because it's precious. Yeah. yeah. You understand? And Definitely. every youth, every one of us, I have come to understand and that have a gift in us as individuals. And that, yeah, yeah. 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 Every one of us, none of us. That's why all of us, Father, never send none of us in this world without giving us a gift that we can extend. Yeah. Because it's not yeah. trading in life, you know. I, mm -hmm. I may oh. sing, you may be the one who farm the land. So me need your food. Yes. You need to hear a melody yeah. for carry on. Somebody yeah. need for you understand? So all of us have to a purpose with it. Yes. So mm -hmm. um I try to let them understand, say, you know, there's a purpose in you and help them to mm -hmm. develop to find that purpose and to bring that purpose to life. Because when you find that purpose, is your gift in father said make room for you in life no yes education is good enough you and you can and yes. you can read and stuff like that but the baseline where all of us need to understand in this life find your gift in. because your yes gift in is what make room for you we don't know jordan by education we don't know you send both by education we don't know no. suffer by education we know them by their no. gift in. the gift in that the most i ordain in them that is what yes. life, that's what make room for them. That's what the, the most I say, we bring up before kings and queens. And that's what take them everywhere. And that's what give them that's a life. Your, that's your utmost strength. Yes. So mm -hmm. every one of us must look back in ourselves, not out of ourselves, but look in ourselves, find our gifting, bring our gift into life. Yes. As hard as possible. And it will be a blessing. And I right. know that. Some of us will know late, some of us will know soon because they don't know some of the work them who be a sponsor in solid work. But trust me, yeah. When you as an individual will try to seek the first the kingdom, the most side first. Yeah. yeah. Find out, say yes. You need to look within yourself and bring that gift into life. And it will make you right. And you will be a blessing in society. So there it is. Definitely King. And you know, just as you said that King Malakia, you know, your upbringing is very important. You see the guidance that a person gets, that too helps us to unlock our purpose. Definitely. It's a code within us, you know, and the upbringing helps us to unlock it so that we become great in our purpose Definitely. when we reach at a certain age in life, you know? Yeah, um, I, I try to let um, each person even I come in contact with because every youth are my youth, definitely, when I live. And it's goals like this. What society mold you with and try to 
bring, bring you down as an individual. You can't use that already in your life because the kingdom of the world and the kingdom of the father is two different kingdoms. With the kingdom yeah. of the father, the father said, let the weak say they are what? Strong. Let the poor say yes. they are rich. It's two different cultures. So you cannot yes, can have a cent in your pocket, but father said, no, speak what you want to like. Yes. Well, and the negative, but manifest the spirit yes. in their life and make it be. Yeah. The atmosphere because within your life, <laughs> blessing to each and everyone that lacks you to see in one life. But yeah. With Martha, Martha Lawrence said, Bless up, um, big up King Malaki, I believe. Yeah, definitely. Bless up, bless up. Yeah. We have to, have to bless up. The yeah. And we have to understand that yeah, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Right, definitely. So, whatever you put out is that you're gonna receive. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I try mold I yeah. mold myself that. What um I try to definitely watch anything I'm doing pertaining to music. What I'm gonna put out there in our society, because if I corrupt my music and send it to society, I'm gonna corrupt the generation. Yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. You know. I remember that that gift that you get. It's a duty. Yes. So whatever it is that even as a parent, because remember, um, as a parent, you know, the things that we put out to our children, yeah. we are to also realize that, listen, if we give out a toxic energy, yeah. that's what we start. Definitely. Each word. Yeah. You know, is what you are receiving yeah. to, you know, on the other end. Each word is a seed. And it's yes so seed of destruction in society worse you're doing music as an individual whatever you put out there as an um as a seed it's gonna manifest so definitely that's why definitely i'm so up some person that said me go on like me too righteous but it's good to to, to, to want to be righteous you know father never said yeah. ah, too much like the devil but Right, <laughs> walking at the yeah, too, upright. Too too much. Yes, so we don't know why a person would want <laughs> why a person would want to lick up on a person who tried to do good. You understand? So definitely, whatever I'm doing, mm -hmm. I try to shape because I must. Yeah, I, I must can see the end product of anything I'm putting in my hands. To. And I try to yes, see that yeah. because even if you're gonna cook a pot of food. It coming at the spiritual realm of your life first. You know, being yes. most of well, more, mm -hmm. yeah, more on flower, more on. You understand? So anything, yeah. I'm gonna mold even a song to send out there in a society. I know. Well, every life, you know, it's spiritual and then it becomes physical. Yes. That's what our is upon. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a parent. You have to know how to apply yourself. So even as an artist, you have to know how to apply yourself because mm -hmm. you also in the spiritual as you do in the physical. Yes, yes. And that's our our power. Yes, I see. Sophia, my queen, is saying, "Well, it we takes a um, community to grow a child." Well, have your queen. Big up to your queen. Yes, my you know, her. queen. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You always very high you know you have a, a king in your life and so you know it's a pleasure having king over here and he's just giving a word of encouragement to parenting and also to leave a positive message at the end and to introduce his powerful music you know which we really wants to get into right now so let's jump into it king malakia so um is there any song that you want to present to us you know we I would really love to hear it, and so do the audience over oh, here. They would really want. Definitely, I'm embarking upon yes a project currently. No, um, I want to bring to the floor and let the, each and everyone know that yes, I have my own label now. Awakes the King's Production. That's my label that I'm working. On. Yeah. So you don't know me. I put my shoulders to the wheel and working on an EP currently just now. Okay. Yes, and um. Each and everyone over here, please to go over there and follow King Malakia. He's on Facebook, King Malakia, and I'm sure that he's on Instagram as well and YouTube. It doesn't hurt. Subscribe, 
um, repeat his music, you know, keep it on repeat. It's a good thing when you have a good artist, you keep his music on repeat. You understand? Yes, I feel that energy. And so he's going to also let you know as to what media platform you can find him on, Spotify, and all of them things. Yes, Spotify would And Constance mm. Queen. Um, yes, we are, I am on Spotify and all the major platforms. I'm right there. And as you said, straightforward. Yes, I'm on the Facebook as King Malakia Blake. Uh, yes, I'm on the Instagram as King Malakia Music. I'm on YouTube just the same as King Malakia Music. I'm on yes. the Twitter and as King Malakia Music. And yes, I'm broadening my horizon to any platform that is there. I'm sorry, you don't know. Scoping out everything. Yeah. And look out for an EP coming very soon. You know, I'm working yes. on everything, putting everything together. I want to release seven to eight tracks. That's where I'm right. Yeah, and it's an EP. Um, I released two of my EP already. Um, Death Before Me, Anna, and Yahweh Go Before Me. Okay, yeah. yes. That, that... And no I'm on your platform, and you say I must grace your platform, and I want to say it just like this. <laughs> Come on, uh, even though we're doing a little touch and little, but you have to wear a little song. Now. Yeah, no, no, definitely, song. man. Um, I want to say, trust me. Um, my first um song from my EP, it's like you know, it doesn't matter where the heat and they my plan up, all night, yes, I get born up, they up on my journey, yeah, they go before me. No, it doesn't matter where the heat and they might plan up. All mm -hmm. nice the works I get burned up. They are upon my journey. Hold on. I will say. I probably am like that one. Look at your buffer. Rewind. Where you say? Naturally. Man. Pull up. After that, bad me now like holy for black me bus over here for that. Let me play about that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man, a problem. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, you know, right you know, I'm feeling really humbled by it, trust me, even by you saying, Whoa. Don't forget about that. Come back again, yeah, Rasta, that trust bad. Me. It's natural, man. Yeah. It doesn't matter where the heat and they my plan up. All night, mm -hmm. the works I get fun up. They are on my journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go before me. No, it doesn't matter where the heat and they my plan up. All nasty works I get burned up. They up on my journey. So Yahweh yeah. before me. They are spreading yeah. rumors around the world. Fighting for earthly glory. But this work is not to bring you fame. What is to tell redemption story? He can yeah. make it on his generation. When wolves in sheep clothing, spreading the smell yeah. and deception, yet yeah. till the morning. But I am persuaded yeah. that in my generation, I will not relax and let the Eden this man could have flock. So no matter where the heathen they might plan up, all night works I get burned up. They are on my journey. Yeah. How we go before yeah. me. No, it doesn't matter where the heat and they my plan up. All nasty yeah. works I get burned up. They are on my yeah. journey. Yahweh guide mm -hmm. and protect me. See it, I know. Me, yeah, of religion. The duty is to take care of the poor. But your greed and deceptions, you're closing now, mercy doll. You miss a man there in Congress, acting wise to the evil. But quit from being a fool and turn to righteousness. Man, leave in the natural affection of a woman to lie with another man. But I know mm. from creation. I tell you it's abomination. Woman and woman can't produce no baby. I see you all gone crazy. Hope your man and politics blinding the nation with their folly tricks. <laughs> but this, <laughs> bruh, but this fire comes yeah. from Zion to purify yeah. the 
the nation. So it no matter where the heathen they my plan up. All nasty works I get burned up. They up on my journey. Oh yeah, we go before me. No, it doesn't matter where the wicked they my plan up. All nasty yeah. works I get burned up. They up on my journey. So yeah, we guide and protect me. So you are singing song. Working for Satan, yeah. Bring the youth them and a spoil the generation. You are the yeah. messenger on the back of you know for Lucifer. And I talk about you a superstar and you leading the youth them in a gun war. Yeah. No matter where the wicked day my plan up, all nasty works I get burned up. They up on my journey. Yeah, man. Fire, fire, fire. fire. Oh, so you say fire, fire, fire. We have to blaze it every day, every time. Yeah, right through the year. Fire. Yes. I love that song there. Song, but, you know, and as we have a few comments, you know, some say, wow, you know, no need for instrument, great vocals. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So you don't know. Yeah. It's it's good. It's a good vibe. Love it. Love it. Love it. The song nice. Trust me. Realistic, you know, and everything about the song is just so powerful and real. Yeah, like you know, they're whopping like me. I say, okay, you know, King Malakia didn't need a little instrument, or he didn't need somebody in the back. But then by the time you start singing and jump into it, me I say, you don't need nothing, you don't need nobody. Give a talk, give a talk, give a talk, you know, my background, but I realize that, yeah, <laughs> give a talk. Um, that is the first song for the EP, and you know, this uh, I sent two songs to you, um, which is from the EP, just the same. And the other one is Death Before This, Anna, which you don't know. Um, it's another awesome song, just the same, you know. But the ladies, them they on the live, so what? Me now I go go root right and I'm gonna sing something to the ladies, them and you don't know what we say, elegant chick, yes, bless up yourself. <laughs> Give a, yeah, man. A piece. Girl, you are a queen, a queen, a queen, a queen, a queen. A queen. Elegant chick. You Definitely. are a queen, a queen, a queen, a queen, a queen. A queen. Okay, okay. Stop. You're the only one to feel like a yeah. king. Yeah. 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 Right and home light like a feather. Can go to any yes. other weather. <laughs> With your love, yes. I can conquer. Girl, I need you and no other. Because huh. yes. every time when we touch, it's like I'm in heaven. Sophia. Yes. And I've been yes. your girl, I receive your blessing. Yeah. So yeah. Everybody say no yeah. that I'm chasing something with you. Yeah. But every words they say it's true, cause it turned my gray skies to blue. Yeah. Woman, I want you to know that you're not just another girl. But woman, I want you to know that you're the center of my world. And only you can touch you, but I feel like yeah. You gave me that peace and joy within. Right yeah. now, my light like a feather. Can go to any stormy weather. With your yeah. love, I can conquer. Girl, I need you and no other. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Naturally. Listen up, I'm going to tell you something. You see, when it's fine, an artist represent for him queen that means she's doing so a good job and so we just want to big up the queen sophia you know enough respect and love yeah so you know it tells me that she's doing a good job over there so you know yeah it's natural for what you deserve yeah yeah so you know quick before king malakia close out um we just want to know a little piece of malakia journey and to where malakia get his inspirations you know and how does Malachi all our vibes on a daily basis? All right, straightforward. All right, yeah. life in its all inspires me, you know. 
whether the up and yeah. down, the journeys them, you know, give me, help me to create because, you know, I use trials to brighten my horizon, meaning to expand in whatever here. Because being right. a writer then, songwriter, you know, uh -huh. tribulation inspire me in such a way. Because I always try to use, I take all the positive, you know, no matter how the situation seems ash. Yes. Yes, I try to take all the positive side of it and see where I can create something to climb on. I use trials for stepping stone. So, yes. there's no way you're going to bring anything in my life and feel like you're going to cut me down. You only give me a no. the rise. It's like, I look at trials right. like I'm crossing a river. So anytime you confront me with something negative, whoa, I see yeah. there's a next step into a place somewhere far. Unspot. So you don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That inspires me every day. Um, to me, I'm a Tyler by profession, so, you know, Otherwise, I'm not singing and every in other studio. You don't know me. I do my title work and I create. I create. Right. You know, right. Um, family orientated just to see So I love spend time with me. Yeah. Me, me love my son and me, me love me pick me them. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yes. Yeah, so me so love. Me love spend worse. Um, if anyone can see, um, well, I wrote two things mm -hmm. back. I put up my little boy that is sage trust me he's a handful he's just trust me awesome just yes so you don't so you get it from your own body yes and from your job yeah yeah so otherwise um meeting persons where i think positive and not too negative because if you have a thing too negative now nullify your past and try and move on because me me not really have no yes yeah. to them things all right yeah and um Try a week in the horizon with whoever around me that, you know, find your purpose. You are here for a purpose. You know, yeah. about that which can make you be successful in a life. Not even say materially, but even spiritually, just to say. So, you know, that's yeah. what enhance me and that's what keep me going. Seeing people smile and seeing people happy, that's what keep me going. Yeah. If it's anything negative to bring come up on society and bring in it thing up in society. Me kind of want nullify it. Me kind of want be a part of it because that's me. That's who I am. Naturally, naturally. I love you for you, you know, but trust me, I don't I, I don't want to party you in a year. You see me? I say so. That's naturally. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so King Malachi, we have it, you know. So, you know, we come to our close mm -hmm. with King Malachi. So, we say enough respect and love. Yeah. Big up yourself mm -hmm. always, you know, and safe journey with the music yes. and definitely life reasoning you know listen all my peep this is not the first time you are gonna see king malakia because as soon as the album drop you know him have to come back over real life reasoning come get elegant check a piece of it and him have to come just blast it up phone and all them things and sing phone again because they don't have it you don't need no instrument for singing mm -hmm. and this the ladies them over need for here and look here now let me tell you something a problem when the album drop because I have some some bad song over there. Yeah, may I blaze if I am in a run joke? Mm -hmm. All right. I need a lot of <laughs> comments, them and all of the subscribers on my YouTube channel. Love you all. <laughs> you like you big up yourself, enough love and respect. And you know, thank you for passing through yeah. once again. And we have to grow the children them in the right manner, and so far you're doing a good job, right? And the queen already said best daddy ever, you know. So we are working off with the queen said that, you know? Ah. Yeah. So respect and love. Yes, love. Manas. All right, Malakia. And also, please, before King Malakia go, find him on our social media platform. Support his music, stream it, purchase a song. Yeah. You're on Spotify, go over there, run on over there and purchase a song. It's cheap. <laughs> King Malakia, how much for a song over there? Well, you don't know, you know. Dollar had some less, so you don't know. Support the US Autonomous Packet and just spend a two dollar over there and support King Malaki. I don't know. Yeah, respect and love. Malaki, respect. Yes, guys. So there you have it. King Malaki just passed through and him just blazed a lick of fire. Yeah, the fire was so nice, of course. You know, we just respect the reasoning and, you know, we have to just grow the children in the right manner. And so, you know, music is a big part of it. And so we have to just 
listen to contrast music, train up the children in the right manner. You know, even when they're having problems, don't push them away. Sit them down and talk to them. Cushion them. Every child need compassion. You have some children out there which is the, you know, child that is giving trouble or, you know, seem to be a bad child. But I think once they can find that body that can hug them and let them know that, okay, it will be all right, you know. Possibilities are they may turn around. Yes, yeah, so let us be parents and raise the children, show them love, teach them the way. And so we go look over here. Uh, we have a few persons for tonight show. And definitely, let me tell you, tonight that will be a little blast. Because we want your other person's parent, uh, parenting method as to how they raise them, them children. You understand? Everybody, you know, the same things don't work for some people. Because what the strategy is that I use, it may not work for you. And so, you know, it's just like, okay, you know, some people believe in beating them children, you know, and that's a form of abuse. And you don't want to abuse your children. No, not in any way. Don't abuse them. Yeah. All time these people beat the, the kids them, punish them, and when we say beating them, I mean it's like a crucifixion style. Them I use on the children them. And then instead of the children them grow um in the manner that they want them to be, they grow, you know, they turn tend to change to, to, to another direction. And so, you know, we you know, we have a lot. Even some children out there where you find them a gun man, them a all kind of somebody is because of the abuse. So we don't want abuse with children, but we just want to love them. You know, and the next thing you have persons that um will say that you want to choose for your children. Bear it in mind. You are the parent. You make choices for your child. And you have to steer them in the way you want them to grow. In for instance, you know, Put them under pure pressure stating that okay i want this child to become a liar and if he doesn't become a liar may I beat him until he become a liar no you don't want to do that you understand but what you want to do is support them you know what it is that you want to become in life and then you no know, you jump into it and you take them and groom them to it ask them how is it going how you see yourself coming um coming on in terms of the subject area or, you know, the career area that you choose. And if it's not working out good, then you want to just try and see how best you can put them into something else. But never dare you try to beat down on your children and having peer pressure to their life. Because sometimes we as a parent, we don't know what we're child going through. To be honest with you, in all honesty, we don't know what we, our children are going through sometimes. And not because they're young, we tend to say, oh, you know, I have nothing to worry about. Listen, them, them, you know, them have their own little worry with them living up. Especially when they're in teenage stage. They have their friends and, you know, friends are telling them what to do and what not to do. And so they wish they could find a friend in their parent where they could talk to you, relate to you about issues that's bothering them, you know, and how best you can comfort them. Parenting is not easy. It's a hard, hard, hard job. But as I said, you know, from the initial stage, you need to instill a certain principle in them. Not saying that, okay, one day you're not going to find them do a little thing, you know, that everybody make mistake. And as King Malachi I say, all of us have a little child in us. Even we as adults, sometimes, you know, we make some little mistake and sometimes somebody will tell us, you know what, that's a mistake. Or you did something wrong. It's up to us to be, you know, human enough to say, okay, you know, I'm sorry or let us do it. We do the same thing with our children. And so we have to just curve them. Curve them back in the right direction. 
and make sure that they get it right. This is our duty. It's our responsibility to make sure. Just like David, the little shepherd boy, he needed guidance. And so, you know, him, the Holy Spirit anointed him. And so, you know, him get the anointment. And still, he must lean upon the Holy Spirit to carry him. You know, guidance. I say the thing with, with we as parents. We have to guide with children. Then. Listen to them. I know for Jamaican parenting, parent beat them pitney. Run them like dog, yes. Mm -hmm. This is Jamaican parenting. Run them like dog. And that's why you have some teenage pregnancy in our society, in Jamaica. That's why you have so much criminal, yes. Because them not have proper parenting. Them not get the proper guidance. And bad to bad, you know, you will find a child out there with bad, you know. And them have this one person that they love. Because you see that one person show them so much compassion. So it takes that one person to put them in a kind of, you know, in a Jamaica, we just say respect. So they respect that individual. So it is for that individual to put them in a kind of, I say, listen, I don't love the way only doing things, you know. Try and change your way. And you'll be so surprised, you know. The child was changing way because of one person. Later on in her life, when they grow, you hear that child say, it's because of the lady there, or because of the man there. The reasoning that they give me, it helps me to be who I am today. Yes. Parenting is hard, but it's very important. Some people, them get the people, them are with children. So you know, let's speak it on two sides. In Jamaica, Pitney is children. So for most people, they get the Pitney them on the children. And then they just leave them. Nobody to guide them. Some people, they have too many children, so they, they, they are not able to even, you know, give them any form of good parenting. You know, no love, no nothing, you know, because of stress. They come under stress. Is it stress? The father God left them. The mother is a single mother, so she 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 not able to do certain things because she no focus. You know, we have to treat with children in good. Let me see where Tristan Rose. Tristan Rose. Yeah, definitely, definitely. In the old days, they they they, they do. They do th tend to think that children, you know, you them not listen to children. They only want to see what you do, but they don't want to listen to you. Yeah. And the simplest of things they beat you for. That are the old time teaching. Because of the mindset. is how they were brought up, you know, and at the same way they might bring up for them children. The same way they might bring up them children. <clears throat> Mr. Watson, good night. Good night, Mr. Watson. You need to come on over here and, and, and tell me. Your... Good night. Hi, Mr. Watson. How are you? I am fine. I hope your your listeners and and your fans right across are doing well this afternoon definitely okay so mr watson artist oh let, 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 let me introduce myself you know what i mean pleasant good night and good morning and good evening to everyone i go by the name real vi i'm a singer songwriter out of kingston jamaica and um yeah i have a new album coming soon yes yeah oh yeah wow yeah, <laughs> So. Yes, so reggae dance all. Reggae, sweet, sweet reggae. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. With a little bit of everything. Caribbean flavor, African flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just a mixture of everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, 
good because listen, let me tell you something. It's the cool old reggae music we can deny it, you know. I don't know about most person over here, but it's me. I'm a music lover. Me play music all day. If you don't mind chop on let me sleep, me play music, you know. <laughs> well, trust Hi. me, it's one of the it's one of those things that can definitely help the mind and the body to relax, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Music is yeah. You know, it's power. Yeah, so um listen, tonight's topic is parenting. So ah, if you this is a never ending to topic, you know what I mean? Never ending topic. Never ending topic. One of the hardest topic, right? Yes. But nevertheless, um, you know, whether you have any children or not, you must have nieces and nephews. Oh my you it takes a village. It takes a village to raise a child, and trust me, you know what I mean? yes. Um, so it doesn't. There, there are people out there. There are many people out there, male and female, that is not blessed with with, with having that that you know what I mean that privilege to say, oh, you know what I mean. But as far as fostering and um, nurturing yeah. and um, mm -hmm. offering wisdom, knowledge. And you know what I mean, just just words of advice. That's what it takes. Mm. You know what I mean? Because oh, yeah. sometimes the parents, the, the the literal parents are so busy, you know what I mean, that it takes another person with with a little bit more time to spare, you know, to offer that yeah. word of advice and stuff like that. It it it, mm -hmm. it goes a long way, you know? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes a long so, way. It just it is a little bit unfortunate that you don't have um when when it comes on to you don't have an uncle and an auntie dear. You know what I mean? Yeah. We need an uncle and an auntie dear because really and truly no. the father dear you and know. the mother's dear, fine. Okay. But you need an I uncle and an auntie dear. Let me have to reach out to Andrew Ollis and tell him, say, Andrew, <laughs> we need this a this uncle need a, and this is yeah. a worldwide thing. You know what I mean? Yes talk about parenting with women a whole body yeah uncle aunt, grandmother grand aunt you know foster parenting stepmother stepfather you know the parenting go along with it's a never ending it, um, thing as it's a uh, it's a never ending thing you know you know you, you, you yeah. basically you get up every day and you know what i mean it, it and it depends on the type of personality and the heart that you have because yeah you know what i mean there are people in 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 the surrounding of a child, and um, mm -hmm. it, it, they are not they are not that they don't give up themselves. You know what I mean? They are always shunning. You know what I mean? So yeah. So with that saying, um, you, the the the, per, the child cannot go to them for an advice or tell them a problem. Basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Vice right, Brown, big up yourself. Yeah. Bless up. Yeah. Yeah, man. And um, yeah, it's a big up. um as as I as I when I look at things is like mm -hmm. we are all sometimes peer uh, adults, let's put it at adults. Mm -hmm. Sometimes adults feel like oh children or kids or teenagers are not going through anything. But they right. are all we all are you once you're you're human, you are going through something. Mm -hmm. Because we, but we are one child, and we had so much inside that we wanted that uh, that uncle, that 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 uh, the, that mother, that father, that stepmother. We wanted them to listen to us. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, we are a child. Most definitely, and sometimes you know, the the the, the 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 hesitance that a child may have to go to a parent, um, they 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 would they would not have that to go to an aunt or an uncle. Are a bigger cousin, yeah. so you have to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're frightened for no say a, a, a niece or a nephew or or, or a neighbor's child. Um, mm -hmm. you, you hear the person say, "Um, Mikey, or yeah, look here, more more answer something to you, or may I have something, or Mikey, are busy or whatever." And and just if you just think before you just before you say, "Yo, I'm busy," you know, rush, rush me, because if, if we are always in a rush, but um, if we just take that, just time out to say, hey, what? Okay, may I, may I have two minutes to spare. What's on your mind? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, 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 right. You're frightened for, for, for just hear some things where you never hear before, or you never know how we are going. 
VI, listen, let me tell you something. There are times, for me, there are times, you know, where we have to come down to their level, you know. We have to go back to the, the, the childhood stage, you know, mm -hmm. in order to relate to them, you know. Yeah. You have that relationship with them. Yeah. You have to go to a child's level. In order, because when a child, especially, we, we're going to reach a teenage stage, because when a child is like little, you know, mm. child, not the junior yeah. stage. Then blurt out everything. That is the fun part. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six coming up, then blurt out everything. The hard part is the teenage stage. Mm. So at that time now, your heart, you have to have this, you have to be a kid at heart mm -hmm. in order to break down to their level now mm -hmm. and say, all right, let me be your friend. Okay. You see, for us, it's not going to be an easy part because you have to stand your ground as a parent, knowing that, listen, I'm above them like yeah. this. But you, you have to drop you, to you, their level. You know, you know what? Ask a, biz, ask a person that has a business. They will understand. Sometimes you have to use different models to bring it into parenting. And it, yeah. it also works in marriage because this is what yeah. this is, I know we're talking about parenting, but it was this tool that I'm going to give to our listeners tonight. Yes. Trust me, mm -hmm. it, it, you can use it in parenting. You can use it in, in, mm -hmm. in, in your um, personal relationship with your spouse or, or, or even in business. Yeah. Always have quarterly reports. Just a company yeah. has, when they're doing their books, they have quarterly reports. So in your, mm -hmm. in, in your household, as a mother or a father, there should be quarterly reports where you say, okay? And you don't do it in groups because the more you separate people, the more you get from, yeah. get, get from an individual and the more you understand a, a, um, a, a personal problem that is going on and how a person right. feels. But if you group up everybody in the living room and say, yeah. Um, Junior, what's going on with you? What, what you know? What I mean, Master, what's going on with you? And, and, and come, you're not gonna get much because everybody is listening to everybody. Oh, I don't want to say this, and I don't want to say that. I don't want to be the one to you know what I mean. But if you, right. if you, if you're, you, you catch everybody upon them level. You know what I mean? You catch mm -hmm. everybody upon them level. Wearing you, you say, okay, you see, you, your son might be outside, um, water in the garden. You go out there with him, and you say. Um, you know, it's from the other day we not talk. You know what I mean? What well, going with you? How all the studies are go? And um, how yeah. you know what I mean? What what's going on? Right. What, what's what's going on? The once they once they are teenagers, don't feel afraid to say. Uh -huh. What's what, what what's going on in the world of of, of teenager as far as you might not want them to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend at a certain age, but you still have to ask because you have to ask the question because yeah. the question that you fail to ask is the answers that you fail to get. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. quarterly reports, quarterly reports with your children, with your spouse, uh -huh. helps to highlight a whole lot of problems. You yeah. I mean? How you, you find out about them themselves personally, and yeah. then you, you, you can say to yourself, um, what yeah. more me and mommy and what more me and your mom can do to, to help you to be a better person, you know? And I'm, I'm sure that you, there, you, you, there's a lot you can get out there, you know what I mean? But quarterly reports, just like our business runs, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and, and those quarterly reports, you have to never, because what we think, you know, we are always, if you're, Having a, having, a, having a relationship with your spouse because uh -huh. you give her this or you give him that or whatsoever, you think that everything all right. But this, all right. It, it, a relationship is much more than putting um, lunch money on the table, making sure there's snacks in the house, making sure that this is that, making sure that that is that. It goes deeper, you know what I mean? So you have to, right. you have to, to um, try to you know what I mean, dissect and ask those questions as far as, you know what I mean? So it's all about quarterly reports. Have that right. really sit down talk as often as you can throughout the year. If you yeah. do it three times a year, 
You can do it four times a year. Four times a year is good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Four times a year is good to do quarterly. Um, to that to to have that little talk with your daughter. To have yeah. that little talk with your son. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what I mean? It, it, as I say, it works well also in relationship with your spouse. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. Yeah. Never, never feel like you learn. Never. Teenagers have a lot going on. Oh yes, we they see do. these little videos of kids say the darndest things. You see, I one time I saw this this video where this little um, white girl, uh, she 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 couldn't be like maybe must be three or so, and she was like, yeah, her, her mom be like, where are you going? And she said, I'm 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 leaving. Why? Because. Daddy's not right. can't have a boyfriend in the house. So she's leaving. Uh, and she's pulling her pulley. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Yeah. So, right. I mean, and she was, she, the, the, the state that she was in, it might seem funny to the world, but if you zoom in, mm -hmm. she's so conscious of a boyfriend. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to sit down mm -hmm. and, 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 and rail that in oh. and try to oh, yeah. focus her towards other things. You can you, yeah. you can't tell her say so you you can't have a boyfriend. Do this now, and we'll talk about yeah. having a boyfriend later. Just like yeah. how you may have it to buy your daughter a car, or a yeah. or a bicycle for your son. Do this now. Yeah. Focus on this, and then when you get a little yeah. bit bigger, then we will talk about you know what I mean doing that. But don't, don't ever tell them that you can't have that none at all. Because no, that's when they no. go behind your back and do that. Mm -hmm. And you know do I mean? it. Yes. yes well, you night. see, you, good night, good night, my sister Diana. Good night, my Sonia. Big up yourself, Sonia Williams. Son, Sonia Williams. Yeah. Yes. Sonia. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Diana Malcolm, she's going to be uh, our next um, guest on the show. Okay, well, you know, she's one of, yeah, she's my, my co host, you know. Okay, we don't... But sometimes, you know, she, you know, we got to do what we got to do. But nevertheless, mm -hmm. yes, the, um, that, that's very, that's very powerful right there that you said. And I believe so that, you know, every, throughout the year, if it's four times, we have to do a quarterly. Yes, have to do a quarterly report. And also, you know, as a parent, I think we have to be, sweet yet tough yeah we have to be sweet mm -hmm. yet we still have to maintain that there, that there is a passage, there is a passage in the bible because, that we that yes that says where, where god is speaking to his servant say if your father and mother know how to give you good gifts as a uh -huh. human being and i am and i am god almighty that has everything yeah. in my in my at my resource at my disposal if your little father and mother on earth know how to give you good gift how much more do i know how to, to reward you but of course others, it, i how much more do i know how to discipline you when you step out of life because oh yeah don't reward a bad behavior no because god is not going to reward a bad behavior I, you know what i mean yeah where they fall short yeah. with their children they tend to say oh i love my child so much you know i don't want my child to to lock but at the end of the day you support bad behavior yeah. no you don't yeah you stand firm this is where we become solid that's why that, that's that honestly um people we need to incorporate but church that that mm -hmm. old that old fundamental thing in the home again because mm -hmm. many parents not they're not taking no time out at, at all to even go and worship you know what i mean mm -hmm. you don't have to be a a christian christian uh, you know what i mean talking in tongues person for, just make, no just, just make that make make mm -hmm. um knowing god a part of your life because let me tell you something it works mm -hmm. well for your kids because everybody right. wants their kids to pass their exams. Everybody wants their kids to go to college. Everybody wants their kids worry about when, when their kids leave the house and to come some, back. You, yeah. you don't have control over none of those things, you know. So you, you, you need to tap right into here. a higher power that has control over. You have to ask God to say, God, him gone out, bring him back to you. Yeah. Well, VI, listen, I could stick a pin mm -hmm. right this up. 
you see when it comes on to a child mm -hmm. not doing a certain requirements in terms of educational field mm -hmm. a lot of parents put their children under pressure mm -hmm. but you know there there is something it's called when you're mm -hmm. failing mm -hmm. one area one because you see we talk about king malakia was over here and we talk about purpose mm -hmm. now sometimes a child is not built mm -hmm. for a specific things in life and you cannot force yes it. for real the child for the exam for you send the child go to a school and the, you say you know what since as you feel the exam i'm going to go to a special class do this mm -hmm. the child still feel this is the method now if you see education now work, make the child do a skill. Send the child to a class that teaches the child how to sign their signature. Yeah. And you say, all right, you have to study your children while they're growing. Mm -hmm. And you say, you know what happened? This boy is fascinated with cars and truck. You go and go to a mechanic school. Mm -hmm. You go and learn mechanics. Yes. And if the child is um, developing skills in selling yes so you know what i'm going to give you one little business you're going to start right here so because you, you, you have to you have to enhance your children you have to strengthen them you have to put strength I into listen, their listen I, I, look at this i must i must show you this is... i must show you something when it when it all it all boils down because school teaches us to get to come out of school to go work for somebody Mm. school don't teach us i don't know about there in america but in in jamaica they it, you don't have a course about entrepreneurship is what i'm saying mm -hmm. you don't have yeah. they don't teach the only time you hear about even black history is 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 yeah. is, is when um february comes about black history month right so you do black right. history month and entrepreneurship should be taught in school right throughout the year especially right. in our country we are in it's more domineering black people like jamaica you see what i'm saying right how can you how can you um send, um go to school because at the end of the day you know, it boils down no matter what level how much degree you have it boils down to making money it boils money. down yeah. to, make, to knowing numbers you see what i'm saying yeah you you can you can you can get all the degree in the world and and this 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 little boy or this little girl come sing two songs and and, and and blow up in the world and and do a couple concerts and becomes richer right. than you and you say but wait oh me go to school for so much years and because may god rest his soul one at a time i heard I, I i sit and because profile used to be a program where ian boy mm -hmm. um used to be the host of it uh, I, mm -hmm. I love that program because it highlights struggle and coming from a um, struggling background to where you can and who you can become. I love that program. But the day when I heard him talk about singling out Shabarangs and say, How come a little dirty foot boy from Dunso, Rere, can I live all of this good life and I make all of this money and I drive up and down in a limousine? And me, who got college, did not achieve that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I say to myself, Okay, you know what I mean? I can't understand him. I can't understand what he must say. Yeah. Bless up yourself. I can't understand what, 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 what he was thinking, yeah. but all he said, it bothered me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It bothered me because not everybody, Ed, can take the, the, the long study there. Not everybody's going well, to go to college. Watch something like this. Watch mm. it. Let me tell you now. So we're not, mm. we not, we just are reading about it now. You see this officer, which is your mind, yeah. pull with it because let me tell you something. Your mind can be your best friend, yet it can be your worst enemy. Yeah. Your mind, your power. Yeah. Your mind, your strength. The mind is powerful. Mm. I have to be careful how you use it. So you see, when a man come out to know, say, listen. Bless up. King. At the end of the day, if my girl college. If me not go to college, if me drop out of high school, and if me finish high school, the whole thing boils down to making money. Yeah. That's the order of the day. The so watch it now. You are going to use your mind and just know, say, so you know what? Mm? Me cut for this and this, me are going to use it. Yeah. yeah. That's your purpose, your natural God given purpose. You are utilizing. Stick a pin. 
let, 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 let's go to one story where, where ma many people sh sh would know whether they, whether, whether they are, you know what I mean? At some point, them, them, them hear about the story of, of, of King David. He was a, he, uh, uh, Joseph, I should say. Um, Joseph was a nurturer at heart because he was always in the field with the sheep and all of that stuff while his brothers was doing other things. He, yeah. so it, 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 if you watch Joseph's character, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It show you that. And, and this is to tell parent, watch your child character. If you, yeah. if Joseph was a, was a child that was always about his father's sheep and other, uh, other assets about um, that has to do with his father's business. So he will, yeah. you, you understand, say so you could have put something in a Joseph and for, for run. In, yeah. Where are them now? You have to watch what them like. So every, mm -hmm. watch people's character, watch people's personality. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and, and help to nurture that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, you, you see your son like to play football? You, you, be honest. Because in a Jamaica, honestly, you, 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 you see it every day. It's the, the Jamaican Federation of Football. Them, 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 them get a lot of talent, but them don't know what to mm -hmm. do with that talent. So you're going to tell yourself, yeah. so listen to me. I'm going to have a serious reasoning with you. you you like football, but yeah. football is not feasible. In right, right. So mm -hmm. you know what? Though you will may play football, still mm -hmm. get an education. You see what I'm Definitely. saying? Definitely. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. Because certain fields in Jamaica will make it will make mm -hmm. it turn a purple. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? So you know, you know, let me tell you something. You see, before we come to a close, mm -hmm. let me tell you this. As I say, as parents, we have to just observe our children from the initial stage yes. to the junior stage into adulthood. We have to notice what work and what don't work. And in any field that we see it works best. Yeah. We got to enhance them to it. You understand? I'm, 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 before I go, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave something that is thought provoking. Yes. Parents, trust me. You have, you live in your house. You, 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 you're fortunate to give your child his or her own a room, buy them them personal mm -hmm. dresser and all of that stuff. Let me tell you this: we are living in a time that I don't know if uno a ear with me a ear, especially parents in Jamaica. Trust me, my ears is to the streets, I, I, and I'm hearing a lot. Yeah. Don't that remember you, you're fortunate to give your child his or her own a room. At some point, you know, response with the child if the child wants it. Do a little search. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Don't give too much privacy because that child is not paying no, no bill at all. No. Do, at mm. some point, go through stuff, and you will you will find yeah. out stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Know what's going on you with have to know because I, let me tell you something there's a lot going on i if i mm, trust yeah. me because let me tell you something that's very vital. listen that's, the, that's very see, vital you right see what is going on is this in the schools yes i i'm i'm even afraid to talk it because i might offend some people some people might say yo where me hear them something from but listen, listen to me like Talk it. Listen to me, most of y'all. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. stick up in. I was in Africa Tree at, at a mall in um, at Clock Tower Mall, waiting on mm -hmm. my drive. Finish shopping and everything, yeah. and waiting on my drive to come pick me up. I have in my headset, listening music from my yeah. phone. So, mm -hmm. a, a group of a group of guys walked past, but I could tell that mm -hmm. they were, you know what I mean, and um, mm -hmm. and. A group of guy, um, schoolboys walked past, went that way, and the other guys went, went, went the other direction. So I kind of, mm -hmm. the music was in my ear. So I kind of hear that right. there, there was an uproar of loud noise, or like cussing. So I'm a, I'm a made set, and I'm like, so I look behind me, mm -hmm. I look forward, so I realize that the guys, them are cuss, the, uh, the school guy, them. But, I'm getting, right. but, but from the nature of the conversation, I realize that they know each other. You right. see what I'm saying? And these are schoolboys, like five, six of them. You see what I'm saying? Right. And these are these are guys that 
look them funny they don't look funny them funny and the nature of the conversation right. was go on because if me didn't want me to fuck you too excuse my language yeah. so let me tell mm -hmm. you something parent when i work hard and it shot me the day you know come here say mm -hmm. no for them youth i get thousand dollar a day you know but thousand dollar yeah. day is not enough for them them satisfy well, many people say, are no. giving they're um, doing their many parents are doing their best to send their girls and boys to school but they are not satisfied mm -hmm. and, they, and it caused them now to start doing things that is not morally acceptable yeah. you know what i mean and That's when we, we see we see school boys you know what i mean in other situation i'm like yo it bothered me yeah and also, let me tell you something. So, as you say, we can't give the children them too much privacy because sometimes you really and truly have to walk around in other house and just know what's going on in, 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 in their lives because that is very important to know. You can't just have your children and you don't know what's going on in their lives. It's all a part of the quarterly report. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be involved. Yeah, involved with teacher, involved in your house, yeah. involved with other family members. Do you and remember when we were at, when we were younger and, and, and parents pop up at school? Just suddenly so Oh look here. You don't even My know mother your, your mother or your father in a in a in a staff room. Maybe have one serious mother. Just so pop you, up can, at school. you can't do it. You can't do nothing. You know, run you know what I mean? One of the biggest things in COVID, you know, what happened when COVID started last year, you know, most parents was upset because the parent realized that this child is going to be home when I need to be doing other things. So yeah, yeah the child, the child, the child is looked upon now as you're impeding on my time. You should be mm -hmm. out in school. No, the the mm -hmm. teacher is a teacher. The teacher will yeah. have the child for a portion of the day, but you are mother, yeah. you are mother, our father, and teacher forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Forever. I tell people that yes. you never stop being a parent until you die. You know what I mean? Right. When you get when you're having kids, make sure that that child, when he or she is older, and even have them girlfriend, it would be nice for when mm -hmm. your daughter are by a house or your son are by a house. Him can come and say, Mommy or daddy, you know what? I have such and such amount of money, but I need a an half a million to 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 close this deal with this with with, with my with my realtor and you say you yeah. know what i'm gonna write you a check if you can't write yeah. you a check or your daughter a check when it comes on to matters like that later on in the future it's best is it you have one child where you can where you can monitor or you have me mm -hmm. because um I, I i was around some 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 wealthy gentleman one day at their at, at the car wash and the one of them looked at me and said, Singer, you see that carrier? It's not an easy carrier. Mm. You have yeah. to have two Benz money to maintain one yeah. Benz. So you have to hey. have two Pitney money yeah. to maintain mm -hmm. one Pitney. Yes. Yeah, sorry? when they go bad. Yeah, definitely. Don't, don't well, you know on. something? Let me tell yeah. you. Singer, before you go, mm -hmm. before you go, I want you to just introduce yourself and just have everyone know what media platform they can find you on yeah. and just run on over there and just to support your music well as i said i go by the name real vi you know what i mean you can find me on instagram at real v dot i you see what i'm saying on yeah. twitter official right. underscore real vi on facebook real vi uh vi -I watson on facebook Facebook just yeah. don't allow me to, to do that real VI something that funny. I don't know why. But it it goes like this. Every man would tell you that them burdens is the heaviest. And any yeah. man could tell you, hey, you don't know what I'm going through. Yeah, yeah. But before yeah. you give up the fight, you must know one thing in life. There is always yeah. someone out there worse off than you. So instead you complain, just give things. If you Isn't believe it? what I say, wave your hands. You know that God will see you true. So just do what you can do. 
So instead you complain, just give thanks. I face all of yes. my struggles, I go through all my pain. Many see the sunshine, but they don't see yes. my rain. I take life with a smile and give thanks yes. for each day. I'm not laying in a coffin and I'm not locked up in jail. Instead, you complain, just give things. If you yeah. believe what I say, wave your hands. You know that Jah will see you true. So just do what you can do. Instead, you complain. Just give thanks. Blessed love. I'm going to tune in, continue to tune in and watch all the discussions. I hope everybody have a safe Definitely. and a pleasant night. You know what I mean? Definitely. Much love, Before darling. You know, so, Diana Malcolm, she coming on. So you can get a big up for me. Yo, Diana so, Malcolm, you know? the, the, the conversation at you know, so come, come add your <laughs> stars to this because, you know what I mean? I'm loving it. <laughs> come over here come at it up right now so all right you then. know how that yeah definitely okay, so blessings yeah and love and blessings and there you have it please to go over there and follow vi watson on facebook and he's also on instagram real vi and on youtube go over there and stream the music oh yeah i lost him right there so yeah definitely Diana Malcolm, you can send me an ad request and, uh, and, and let me join you. I sent it to you just now, so you can go over there and send it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so with the children, you have to be involved in children's life. That is very, very important to be involved in your child's life. And there you have it. V.I. Watson said it, you know. Even if the child has their own space, their own room, go in there every now and again. Search it. You own the house. You are the ruler of the house, not the child. Many parents let the children rule and they sit back and watch. And so you find it that the child walk over the parent. It is not to be. We are to be sweet, yet a little bit rough or say sour sweet and sour yes mm -hmm. yes but we have to be soft but solid all right so she says she trying let me go on over here and add dynamo all right okay um let me add yeah so we got to be a little bit um All right, okay, I just did, I sent you now, Diana sent you that had requests, I don't know. All right, Diana, try now and see if that work. Yeah, so definitely, you know, we have to be involved. We have to, we have to support them. You know, we have to listen to them. We have to play with them. We have to show them compassion, affection, respect. Respect is a major part of um, raising children give what you receive you give your children respect you receive it yes you give your children respect and you also receive it you cannot give what you, you cannot receive what you didn't give oh diana hey you're looking beautiful oh lord um, yes Thank you. yes so yes um real life reason we have diana malcolm over here and you know tonight topic is and so she is a parent a very good one at that and so she's going to give us a few tips on parenting you know 
Diana Malcolm, your parenting skills. Hey y'all, good evening. Well, 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 it's a hot topic. Like real VI, hot. bless up real VI, bless up. You have some good points. Yes. But, so my take on parenting for me. Yes. First come pray. You have to pray for your children, them dearly, daily I say, and cover them. Yes. You know, even before they go out, because you know, when the enemy can catch us, it's the kids that the devil work on most. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yes. Yeah. Try the kids them first. Mm -hmm. For the kids them, you know, because you could be a very good parent and sometimes your kids get out of line, you know, and right. you know, you people who will say, if a mother did train him good, he would do this or he would do that. But in fact, some parents have really good parenting skill and do the best they can. Yes. But sometimes they do the best they can and they leave out the prayer part. Yes, yes. That's and without prayer, nothing works. Very important. Yeah, but, it's very um, important. Malachi said, so let, let him see your face. He's not seeing your face um, fully. So go back. Um, set, uh, yes, yes. So here you okay. have Malachi. That's her face right there. Yes. My, yes. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm saying. You pray for your kids them first and foremost in everything you do and support them. Mm -hmm. it, um, real B, I say, if you see that they love to play football and you see they do any good, support them in it because maybe that's what God want them to do. Yes. You no, know? and they start out at the early age, so you just have to try and push them into what you see they're doing, as long as it's something good. Right. Right. Yeah. And still, if you support them and you be a good parent to them, you're not going to spear the rod and spoil the child. No, no, no. We don't. Do all so you have to also be a stern parent you don't want to be your parents your kids them friend mm -hmm. you want to love them you know but you have to separate yes you like have to them oh. say you are the mother or yeah. the father. i'm the parent you are the child yes you have to have boundaries. yeah, yeah there's boundaries yeah, yeah. so like it's a real talk queen yeah yeah you have to separate the friendship because some parents act like they are their child best friend and them can talk to you anyway and do what they feel like doing when in fact that's not it yes and some parents also provoke the kids them and the bible tell you provoke not your children to rot yes but it also tell them and your parents so your deeds can belong on this earth definitely just believe that you support your child man in whatever they do mm -hmm. and like they check the room you have to them not paying rent so me supposed to you're not going to lock me out of the room and lock up yourself in there and me can't come like i'm here your roommate right in my house me supposed to can't open the door and go in there anytime i look wherever i want to look definitely don't give them space you know but too much space not good definitely yeah them have to know so you can't come in at any time of the night or day and go into that room and go search for whatever right you know, comfortable with what you say you're going you go check it out yeah yeah so i believe i was raised with my grandmother so yeah. you know not to do they didn't even have to hit you or anything like that them just roll them eye and look on you you know what time it is of course you have to have that thing about you you see yeah you're not supposed to talk too much to a child that's a thing, you know, you have to have that thing about you that they know. So listen, it's that time. Yeah, I've seen parents talk to them kids and them, but by the time you say about you, they are grown. Of course. Yeah, no, but. No, no if. No, no. because. Yeah, no. you're a child. When you're a child, you act as a child. And when you're an adult, you start as yeah. adult. The artist yeah. <laughs> art is allowed. Of course. <laughs> yeah, but, no, but, no, because. <laughs> they're grown. Work. Yeah. yeah, true. That's how I know it. Mm -hmm. My grandmother used to grab your ears and twist it so hard you never want another. Mm -hmm. But what? Yeah. But, but, but nothing. You know. Yeah. Say, but. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's really my take on to it. Unless you have something else to ask, Mrs. Bought it. No, you have some we just want, you know, we just want to let them know. Say, listen, training up a child. As we say, you know, we have to be so yeah. uh, sweet. We have to show them compassion and affection and all of these things. But we have to be firm. Yeah. 
a child, you know, sis, you know, you have just like a little baby then. Say a child that is two years of age. You know, they test you as a parent or even aunt or whatever relationship you may have with that child. But they will come at you. They know that they're not supposed to trouble the water on the table. Yeah. Come there and they take their little time, those little tiny fingers, and they take the time and they try to stretch to the table and they're watching one mm -hmm. eye at you. Oh God, if I touch this, what's she gonna say? Is she gonna um, let me go or I'm gonna turn it over? And they're looking at you. So mm. you let them take it down and spill that water and say nothing. They're gonna continue doing it. Child, let me give you an episode about my first child. Yeah. They were back in Jamaica and you have the destroyer burning. Mm -hmm. Crawl there and one touch it and I'm gonna say don't touch it, it will burn you. She looked and she laughed. By the time yeah. you know she touched it, the first burn she burned, she never even wanna go that side of the house no more. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you have to teach them from them younger. Them from them younger. From them young, you can't wait until them get grown up and then you want to train. You can't raise a man or raise a woman. You have to raise them from them a child. Right. So mm -hmm. you have to say no sis parenting, it never ends. It yeah, hey cousin, and bless up yourself, my cousin. Yeah, it's a mm. until the very end. Yeah, and you know, so I, for most people, it's more so with the mothers. Yeah, fathers, it, it's vice versa, but I would say like eighty-five percent, it's mothers all the way. You know, yeah. we struggle, we battle with children and their upbringing. Well, sis, my dad, go, my dad, go make you take all the credit them about the mothers, you know, because you have some very good father. And that's why I say, yeah, yeah. father, a mother who act like mother more than some mother. Yeah, that's why I say eighty-five percent because really, it's very really fine. Um, the father, it has uh, the percentage on parenting because not like you have some real careless woman with kids. Of course, some good father who is more than a mother. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Then mother yeah. yeah really true so you mm -hmm. have mothers it's like they just bear the child and that's it yeah and you have some fathers they're just the donor and yeah, yeah. So it might, well, yeah it can leave them yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you have many children in us um diana that struggle with with, with that uh, main fuck you know they have to struggle between parent my dad is not here and it's so come that pressure on them yeah yeah and you have some children it's the mother side you know where is my mother you know she's just never there yeah well you have some rays and they raise with so much love and then just carry on yeah. mother who is never there because of work because you have some real mother where work so hard and by the time the child come from school, them going out through the door for work. And by the time they come in, the child sleeping and they repeat the same thing the next morning. So they hardly get to see the child. But time flies so fast. By the time you're queen, but your I, child grown up out of sight. Well, listen, sis, I think with, with stuff like that, the mm -hmm. child grow to be a better man or a better woman because they tend to see the oh, hard work. Yeah, how hard they hear it. But at least the struggle is real and I got to do this. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is true. They find themselves lost in some way. They will come back to it and say, you know what, let me do better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then some kids need that because if you don't give them that kind of treatment, when they grow up as the boy, them women have them all over them. They know how to cook or evil boil water for themselves because their mother was always there for them and then become a little girl boy right and i wait for the woman to do everything mm -hmm. of course so yeah so them are for them are for they have to train them man from them young definitely mm-hmm watch it paradise true okay so, get it together of course naturally <clears throat> yeah so there are things in life that we as parents would think that um you know would let the child fall, but it will actually bring that child, you know, it won't break them, but it will strengthen them. But yeah. Yeah, strength come in many different forms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what after that a person would find so, a weakness is uh, a strength to another person. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. They earn things. You can't just get up and give your kid them because you love them. Everything with them want to. You have no. to make them complete and make them know say it's not easy. So yeah, you know, it's not easy. When they do stuff and it's good, you reward them. Yes. There's something I reward them, but them also need for work for you. Okay? If you give them easy, they're going to think right throughout life. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, my sister. Of course, that is all right. That is so mm -hmm. true. Yeah, not yeah, definitely, definitely right down, right down the line. Yes, it is. We yes. reward them when they do good. When you do bad, we let you know that listen, that is unacceptable. You yeah. have to do better. I believe that you're supposed mm -hmm. to take your kids to church like um real VI. So you don't have to be a Christian to take your kid to church. Your kid's supposed to go to church and go learn no God then. If you teach them from an early age that there is a God. Yes. Yeah, I believe. Oh, yes. Because it's for me... We like, grew up going to Sunday school. Well, Sunday school, Monday school, Tuesday, you go to church every day. You never um, get time. Listen, no. listen um, Diana Malcolm, did you read my mind? Because, like, for my daughter, she goes to school, church every day. I remember yes. I have a neighbor who is a Seventh-day Adventist. So my daughter was seven day Adventist and she got Sunday church and she got church every day. Come and pick her up from school and you have to go there, go do your homework. Yeah. Children every... must know God. Yeah, they they're never too young to learn. Yeah, because even if them depart what? from it, you know, they will come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we know that there is no such thing as a perfect person. So Oh no. Referring to that as an adult, it still goes for a child. There yes. is no such um, perfect child. No, not at all. Yeah, but you know, we can, we can, we can let it work as parents. Another thing, if you have <clears throat> four or five six kids, and one of them is more successful than the other, you must not cuss the other one and say, "You still like look on your brother, oh, he might do good. Look on your sister, he might do good, and you just mm. work because word is powerful." You know, that's a pain. That that, yeah. that, that that child can carry a pain, you know. Yeah, you, you know, can. I'm a living task of yeah. that, you know. I'm a yeah. yeah, I'm a living task of that thing. You yeah. know, what that, that that has been said to me um once when I was just a teenager. I think when I, I was just 13 years old and you know that thing scarred me for quite a while until you know I worked over it. Um, you know, never compare your children. Oh, you can't yeah. compare because seven brothers seven different minds mm -hmm. yes it's them every one of your children them they're not gonna come out to be a doctor no you know one none to come out as a thief or a gunman or whatever mm -hmm. but they're not going to do the same thing yes they're everyone has their purpose no person are alike not even a twins no so you no. know you have to work with them definitely according to some maybe a little bit so than the other but it's still your child so yeah. yeah, I clean my day. I clean off my fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely, sis. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's it. You know. So before we even come to a close, Diana, I would really like you to give a important um, word of advice to the parents out there because you have parents who are struggling with their children. You know, some tend to raise their children good but then the children fall into the different direction you know and they're figuring you know, what do i do with this child but yes of course we... my word of advice mm -hmm. to a parent struggling like that the battle is not yours it's the lord definitely when you're tired of a fight with your kids then you're fighting prayer then we come to yes give it to god he can take care of them better than we can yes yeah. and so yeah. Yes, yes, Diana, go ahead. Sorry to cut. Yeah, give, give it to God if you're tired. But talk to your kids, them, and you see what your kids them do is not your business, it's the Lord's business. Yeah, someone that says, um, what God is about God, parents who are just their children? God and Him will lead you in the right direction. And again, children live what they learn. Oh, yes, of course. Children live what they learn. So if you out there act like a skittle and you have a daughter and you see her, you can't go beat her and say, why this little girl act like that? I say, mommy, yeah. do it. Look good to me, so may I do it too? Yeah, because someone um, type here and says, what do you think about a parent 
that dresses a child like as if they're an adult too early well if you i i don't like that thing like you dress up the little girl or the little boy like him a big man or like a children when you are a child you must act as a child i don't like it for you to dress a kid like a grown-up no but i'd put that kid out there and then sooner or later they start dress themselves like that mm -hmm. then you have some pervert out there who don't know kids from adults mm -hmm. yeah so you don't you're not supposed to start that with your child as a parent i mean to each his own but mm -hmm. i would have a little girl and dress her too soon like a grown-up right well no, i don't that, that, that is already stated in the Bible, you know, when you're a child, you do child eating, and when you're an adult, you do adult eating. Mm -hmm. So a child is not supposed to dress or act as if you're an adult. You're supposed to... Yeah. But see, they don't control themselves. So if you as a parent, go and dress them that way. Mm -hmm. What do you expect them to do? Them just go and follow the lead. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so, just a child as a child. As, don't take away the beauty of being a mother to a child. It's like you dress your child like that. Is your, you have a grown up where you call a baby. Yeah. If I, you understand, uh, mommy, I, you take away that motherhood kind of thing. You just turn the picnic into one big woman or one big man before time. Yeah. And also, I think that that parent is robbing that child. Of their, of, of their, of their teenage, of their little baby age or whatever. They might turn them out too fast. Yeah. They might rob the child of their virtue. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to have a child in an adult frame. Mm -mm. That's all. No, that's not right. But I believe in that. But stage, you know, many of these parents, they know no better because that's how they were actually raised themselves. That's that's why I said children live what they learn. If you yeah. grow up to your mother outside, I do prostitution. Yeah, come like one because my mother I work on the street kind of something. I go out on the street too. Early, I say my mother with enough money because she sell herself on the street. I go out there go sell mine too. And the two. Like my mother. Even though you have some children that will tell their self that, listen, I don't want to be like that. True. I don't want to be that is true too. But those are the footprints of a parent. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And you have some parent put it like that. You have a man out there who knows him is a thief. Him is a gunman, him is a killer. And him tell himself, I will never want my child to be like me. True. Mm -hmm. they take away that from their child. So you know, as we say, sister, it never end. Never ever end. No, parenting is every day. Mother's Day is every day. Yeah. 24 hours a day, Mother's Day. Because if you lay down in your bed 3 o'clock and you hear your child grunt, mm, you jump up so fast, you thought you were in a deep sleep, but you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Only mother know how those pain feel. If your child is upstairs or downstairs and you're upstairs and they make a funny move, you hear it so fast. So yeah. Mother's Day is every day. Yeah, because remember, you know, the child is the being that is coming from the womb. So yeah. that spiritual bond remain. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a piece of you. Yeah, that's true. So there we have it from Diana Malcolm, my co-host. He says, thank you for having me on. It's a blessing for Diana Malcolm to be over here to give her motherly advice and our parenting method. And you know, she said prayer is the key to raising your children, which is very, very vital. Yes, ma'am. And so, Diana Malcolm, we are going to take a call. We have mm -hmm. clean, and I'm going to accept it, and then we'll get back. Yeah. All right. Take the call, sis. Yes, people, so you hear it. On point. Yeah, definitely, she is on point. Elegant. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Greetings, artists. No respect and love. Yeah. May they take me come in late. Come in late because I go up on the road with some supervising and things. I come in late. 
I mean, I get fit yeah. here where the whole um, show is all about. But um, I soon make you see the face because I tell you, I'm soon coming, I'm just coming. But, yeah, um, no problem, man. Good evening to everybody. Yes. Everyone, every single, single one. Yes, yeah, so Simporas is over here, and Simporas um, is saying greetings to everyone, yes, which is a familiar face. He's no stranger to real life reasoning. Yeah. So Simporas, you know, tonight's topic is parenting, your method to parenting. Yeah, I made it a listener. I made it a listener, and that is a very good topic on the truth, and I tell no lie. Yeah. A very good topic. Me or the lady did us a while ago something about um about how oh, you raise a child. Yes. And the way to raise a child is the best way when a when a father is there and a mother is also there. You know, I got to put yeah. it on a mother alone and put it on a father alone because and, right. and, a, and a mother alone um bring forth a child to the face of the earth. Because if my mother, yeah. if my father did leave, her. if my father did leave my mother, yeah, and no, no peer the eater with no mind, probably mm -hmm. our child, for them grandchild, who no get where we would have want them figure. Right. So, right. But like the whole energy, I mean, I listen, but you may just come in, Mister, let me go. Get out. But you're saying both parents involving in the child life is 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 your um solid method um as to parenting. Yeah, because as I may say, sure. men don't know about certain uh, man, but for me, if me come yeah. in, if me come in and for instance, my youth that that school and me come from America and them say. Him not come in. The first thing me start do is start get timid. Start yeah. get timid and I wonder where him done try to call or try to reach to see him. Right. So when 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 a child born with you as parent, you know uh -huh. you know the type of a, a, a person them hits. You know how matter of fact, it's your work. To grow a a, a, ch a child, as a child right. until as a child until they reach reach the age of consent, then they depend on them own. Yeah. If you can raise a child, the way our child to be raised, then the child and go go out yeah. of the way and do some things where you not even never dream of doing in a your childhood days. So the whole ban, the whole thing about raising a child to a adult. Is yeah, it start from how oh, you raise the child. You have, yes, to make, from you, the, have, you have to make the child have a bond with you. That are the first yeah. thing you have to make the child have a bond with you because when you when the child have a bond with you, you know where the child is capable of, and you know where the child mm -hmm. would go, and you know who, uh, what the child would do. So when you raise a child right. that way, elegant. Then the child will mm -hmm. know, say, boy, daddy know everything about me, mommy know everything about me. So then now I go straight. Right. Especially if the home is a happy home, because you see, simple, let me tell you something. You have children that are raising inside of a home. The home yet, it is not healthy. It's, an, it, it, it's just a house with two parents in it. But it's not a home. You have toxic parents that are raising children. And so the child sometimes, you know, becomes confused. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have, you have poor parents in one house, but at the end of the day, the father that is supposed to be the father, the father is, you know, is not there. No. So the, both parents together is still not a body. And so the child is out there looking for that parenting yeah are you trying to know the parent i'll find um parenting in his aunt in his grandmother in other members of the family and even a family friend yeah but people people don't really understand that you know 
people don't mm -hmm. really understand that. When you come on to parenting, as I said from early elegant, you can't have yeah. you can't have just one somebody look out for your child because the child will be uncomfortable mm -hmm. when the mother they over there so and the father they over there so and all in my ear mm. from the mother said the father your daddy i want like a dirty what this man your daddy i want like a dirty junk girl. but at the end of the day mm -hmm. at the end of the day children of <laughs> yeah. children of a grow that way children for grow right. in a manner where if the even if the mother and the father not they together mm -hmm. the child must can go to and from and him just say there are positive things because the negative mm -hmm. things where the parent child to tell the child the child have a group of right. eight my group of eight for, for mother or the father because if the father are the one who would tell him that his mother he's a little dirty junk or a little dirty dog he might, he might grow up mm -hmm. with that eight inch in a so i am hard for his mother right even if the mother do not in a nothing with the father and the father do not nothing in a nothing with the mother just leave the child out of it because all right this is it too you know simple because you have a child that can be boxing from home to home which is on two home you know visiting the father come back to the mother or the father is half but yet still is the mother in the child so when that child reach a certain age they come to acknowledge what you don't even have to tell them and so they can they can actually just initiate the difference and you know come to their own um understanding yeah they you know, sometimes understand. that's they can come to their own understanding as to what is really going on and they have they have their say because they do feel that pain at the end of the day it is the one that really stands in the middle that faces that tragic um pain inside that you know sometimes they can't even express it to you as a parent when they reach a certain stage which is adulthood you know when two parents are that parent that they so look towards you have to do a breakdown and say listen you know this was a situation and whatever you know you can forgive that person whatever and see your best you can cushion the child to work past it because it can become such a, a, a pain that you know even in their own life it affects them yeah, because at you the know? end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you see when a when a child grew up in a home where the home is miserable, mm -hmm. he not going to learn the way home to learn. Because at the end of the day, what the child yeah. to learn, mm -hmm. um, we wanna put it now. What the child to learn, um, that's supposed to be from two persons, not one. And that two right. person is the mother and the father. Yeah. I I I run into a situation like this because you know me always find out some something. I run in a situation yeah. like this where me did have to take my little son for him learn. Because mm -hmm. when me go at the last parent meeting before him leave all age, then mm -hmm. him teacher tell me say him don't comfortable. So I say, right. oh, I'm not comfortable and in the way your mommy is. And she say, I'm stressed. I'm right. stressed out. So I say, mm -hmm. oh, I'm stressed out and in the way your mommy is. The teacher say, look here, let her tell her something. Mm -hmm. A boy child, mm -hmm. they also want to run their mother, but they prefer their father more. And if, right. and if that little boy don't see your day-to-day -day basic, he might go stress. I'm from a take right. that little boy. From a graduate from all day school, I'm take that little boy. Him just a flow. Because yeah. something missing from him. Something missing. Well, they say that's the possibility that it is the, the, the affection. Because let me tell you something. Many persons would classify it by saying that a girl child belongs to raising with her father or a boy child belong to raising with his mother. Now, it is not so because 
you, you, you as a parent, you're a male, you have your son at a certain stage, the son learn a certain things from the father. But also, you as a father will say, son, come here, you rub your little head and say, talk to me now, what is bothering your son? So guess what? You see that affection? Yeah. You see that, son, let me talk to you. You gain a bond. You show affection. You get the bond from the child. You show the child respect. Because as a father, you respect your youth. Yeah. And so they can relate to you. Yeah, because... But mother no. Because... The mother has some pain within her that she grows up with. She, the break up with you, she may not get the money from you and all of these things. And it makes you treat him harsh. Yeah. So him now... Side of exactly, house. exactly. That's... So by, by every time he wants to get out and also it is affecting his education. Yeah. And that's where the teacher comes in by calling you as the other part of the parent as a listen, take this child because you know his his mind is messed up based upon how the mother is treating him. Yeah. Yeah, so that can put the child into a mental breakdown. Um what what basically happened in life, you know, you see most men are well. Me now put me now put most of the crime on mm -hmm. how a child grow because a child can grow good and that child can end up be bad. Because right, right. you have you have people that lead mm -hmm. you to stray at time if you now use this. But yeah. But actually most of the most of the time you hear some guys, you hear some you hear some people live on drugs that then they pan cocaine or then they pan something. You mm -hmm. do not take it for granted because some people have to use something to kill their demons. Yeah. I never want to go on this topic. I use... Listen, you know what I real life reasoning. This is a topic. Mm -hmm. Any topic you just go on in. This All is right. real life reasoning. Um, when I check, when them say DMX said I do all of this thing, I take all these drugs and take all of this. Me ever touch yeah. a topic here. This topic I've touch. Nobody well, never know where DMX I go to. Nobody. It's sensitive, so it's sensitive. It's a sensitive one. But nobody yeah. never know what DMX was going to until right. the, the, the till the documentary release. And then now right. everybody start right. cost the mother and cost the father and cost everybody. Remember, DMX never get no right. father love, he never get no mother love. But I, and that you know what oh it relate back to what i just said to you yes that's why i'm gonna bring it up it's, anyway. love. it's the love yeah the love even that though we know far, far, far with that because it's kind of sensitive you know we know uh, um just so we don't have copyrights to talk about it too yeah. much so so me do some uh -huh. use me now go call no more name um yeah what I'm saying now, that love and affection that a child don't get, it mm -hmm. aren't him. So that show you say, oh. that show you say, the childhood okay. days, he never get a childhood mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. The childhood days taken away from him. Right. So, they just want all of the man them to know, all of the parents them. Look, you see, when I did, don't dash it away because right. me, and, me and you don't know the beauty of something until it come up yeah you understand so you see that love and affection there we need the parents mm -hmm. them to start show them child because if you not do it from now what 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 gonna happen what gonna happen elegant is this yeah the skeleton gonna haunt them and them they are, you are gonna lead them for the things. But the beauty, yeah, the beauty of all, the beauty yeah. of the beauty of all is this life mm. and something will come around and it go back and it come back and it go back. So it's a cycle. Yeah, everybody life is a cycle. Everybody who have been through things can come and tell you. 
And all of that, where you say before, is exactly, exactly mm -hmm. right. A child yeah. needs love. Listen, he, he need love. He, let me tell you something for us. You cannot go through, you, you cannot have a testimony and you don't go through the test. Yeah. So everybody has to go through something in order for them to have a testimony. That yeah. is the task of life. Yeah. The task of life is love. You know, everything you do, you have to love. You have to love the people yeah. around you. You have to love the people around you. Love is life, you know. Yeah. Love is life. So, back to the topic now. The topic is this now. Um, mm -hmm. If a child don't get the um, negative and, 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 and positive, he never mm -hmm. grow up in a way how him to grow. He might go grow up. Either some of them are going to grow up and learn. Some of them are going to grow up and mm -hmm. have a hate. Have a eat for father or have a eat for mother. But we don't want that. Mm -hmm. We don't want no, that. No, we don't need that. Because at the end That's of the day. That's not the way to go. At the end of the day, one person can't make a child. No. One person can't make a child. It takes a male and a female no. to make a child. And the, the Bible said, mm -hmm. the Bible said, the male is the king and the the the, the 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 female yeah. is the queen so yeah the children are the prince and the princess most mm -hmm. people call their child princess and they call them king they honor their yeah. child because they put their child prince. they put their child before them now because before the child they put themselves but when the child come you have to put the child mm -hmm. before you if you use yeah. if you used to buy a one pants or a one shirt or a one shoes or you used to buy ten pants, you know, you have to cut back for you. If, right. you. if you have your daughter, you have to make sure you buy your five frock or five pants mm -hmm. as well. You have to buy your five to your shoes. So yeah. the beauty that possess is who where where you bring upon the face of the earth. You have to show love to them. If you even not live with the mother, you and the, 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 the family they not live together, you the son yeah. and the mother the son. Make sure that every weekend you as a father can go pick him up, you carry him out, you show him love the same way, and show him say, look, mm -hmm. not no wrong with me and your mother. It's just yeah, it's just time and time catch us and we did it so and she did it so, but nothing. Everything alright. So you have to talk right. to child. You have to talk to child for them understand because child, these child who are grown up now, they are very smart enough. Them who are know what very. is the problem? What is the problem? Why your mommy not there together? Why you the ears and mommy the yeah. You have to explain right. yourself to them good. But always try to be in that that child life, no matter what. Always try yeah, to very important. That very important. Yeah, very so, important um, thing for us. So, you know, as we touch a topic, you know, before we even close, we just want the maximum respect to Simperas for passing through. And yes, when you hear Simperas, um, parenting skills and his method, you know, and his belief as to where parenting lies. And so, you know, we have to apply love you know which is the key foundation into everyone's life because we are made up out of love you know the creator build us spiritually and physically with love and so we have to apply it you know on a daily basis especially with children they need it you know this is what raises raise them and let them be you know quality man and woman in this world and so you know many people don't even know how to show it and so it no, their but, children but elegant, broken. elegant. You have you to know. remember, yeah. If you don't love a person and have spirit, you and that person share the same energy. Only can make a child. So a love, mm. love, make that child. So you have to show that child love when that child comes. Yeah. Well, after a while, and then you um, the relationship gets sour. Some people tend to use 
that person fought on Friday children. Not everyone, you know. Some people use it as strength to love in the children, you know, and 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 just making them the best man or woman there is to be. But as you know, as we say simple as, you know, it is what it is. And so we come to a, a closing where we have to go. But uh, you can leave a positive word before you come off so that everyone can, you know, keep it in mind. Well, Just well, a positive well my words are after giving up. Me, um, I refer to everybody, both mother and father. Caring, yeah. caring is sharing. And daddy, yeah. daddy is I'm begging, I'm begging all that is. You see your child? Your child is your second priority in your life. And no yeah. matter what, don't matter what, don't put nothing before him. Even if the mother and you are apart, make sure you turn up yeah. every weekend, go and pick him up, sit down mm -hmm. and show him. So the world can be a better place. Because when, yes. I, when these, I hear most of these guys that drop out, me listen to them before them drop out. They never have no daddy to show them love. They never have mm -hmm. daddy to care for them. So they have to do what they have to do. Them grow up yeah. less because of their mother alone. Please, yeah. take the stress, some of the burden off on the head. Love the child. Love them Definitely. just like when you didn't love the mother. And that's all I mean Definitely. to say. Just do right. that and Ross. make the world be a better place. All right, elegant. Yeah. Simple as big up yourself, enough respect and love. And y'all know how to find him over there on Facebook. You know, um, find him, Simple as Music. Instagram is on YouTube, everywhere. Simple as lots of love. Big up yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, elegant. You're most welcome to real life reason each and every time. All right, sister. All right. Big up. Big up. Yeah, so there you have it, people. Um, a lot of children, Diana Malcolm says, some children, not every child is born um out of love. Of course, you have many children was born because, you know, they a, a female get raped. Some, you know, they mean a relationship, relationship gets sour, but at the end of the day, by the time the man gone, then that woman realized that she is now pregnant, and then, you know, that take a toll on her. Ah, uh, there are many different things, but nevertheless, I say once the child is here, let us show that child love, because it's never the child's fault, nevertheless, and sometimes, you know, just the way it happened, it was ordained to happen that way. So we should and we must love our children. We are to listen to them. We are to advise them. We are to teach them. And from the initial stage, let us all instill the basic principles that the children need to carry on through life. This is what will make them a solid man and woman in this world. We have to make sure that we show our children love, yet we have to remain solid as a parent. Even so, when that child reaches their junior stage in life, which is the hard part because they succumb pressure from friends around them, you know, that um, tend to think that, okay, this is what we do. We have to sometimes break down to their level and just be a little friend to them to comfort them. We also have to pray for them, as Diana said. We have to pray for our children, for the spiritual growth in their lives so that the Lord will sustain them, guide and protect them, and deliver them as to what situation they are going through this is very important we can do it on our own but with the intervention of the most High like god it is possible you know the children are our future we too was a child and here we are today standing as adult 
based upon the training that some of us have received, we now stand to be who we are in this world. You know, some of us are good, some are bad. Some of us was raised in good parenting home, but yet we make a decision, you know, the path we would take up, yeah, it lead us down hill. Some of us, no matter what, you know, we grew up in a rough childhood, but yes, we decide that, listen, I am going to make it through, and I refuse to be what the devil wants me to be, but I will be a good person, and I will do good, you know. So the decision that we make, it will let us to, you know, our pathway in life, and it will determine as to who we will be as an adult. But bear it in mind, each and everyone, that the mind, you know, our mind, it is the most powerful thing that we have on our body. It can be our best friend, yet it can be our worst enemy. We have to be careful how we use it. Good night to each and everyone over here on Real Life Reasoning. Thank you guys for coming over here. I love you guys. Remember, the other the day, share, 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 share the video. Do share it. Yeah. And for each and every artist that was over here tonight, please to find them on their platform. Stream their music. Buy a song. Buy a song. Support. Yeah. We love that song there, you know. Support. All right. Love you guys. You're truly elegant chick. Listen, go over to my YouTube page. Subscribe. Watch. Like and share the video. Click the bell. So each and every time I upload a video, you can know the elegant chick just do something over there. All right. Big up on yourself. One love and respect. Maximum respect.